Hey guys, Tori plays The Sims here, and welcome to the 43rd part of the I'm a Lover Challenge. I am so excited that you guys are here. Today is Jack's birthday, and I'm both excited and a little sad. Corey has shown absolutely no sign of coming home. If you watched the last episode, you saw that Penn gave him an ultimatum, be home by Jack's birthday, or I will know that your career is way more important than your family. And Corey is definitely high up in his career where he can take days off. So we will see if he shows up. So I'm just waiting for Penelope to be finished baking this cake. Yay! Didn't set the house on fire. That's always uh, good news. Can we put... Let's add birthday candles just in case so nobody else comes over and tries to steal a piece. And then we're going to take it and put it on this tiny little table over here. Does baby need it? Oh my gosh, he does. You know, I left him for like three freaking seconds. Go ahead, come over here. Take care of the little man. Oh, he's so angry. <laughs> How? Uh, oh, he's still asleep. Dude, I told you to get up. It's your brother's birthday. Wake up, wake up. What does he want to do? He wants to share ideas, talk about dreams with someone, talk to the monster under the bed. That is so freaking cute. I love that that's like an option now. So we're going to go ahead and invite over some of our friends in... Mm, See, I don't know if we should have a party because we can't, let's try plan social event because we can't have a birthday party for babies. I really wish that was a thing. Also, if you hear like hammering and drilling and sawing in the background, I deeply apologize. Uh, the construction crew is still here. Yes, it's been over a month. <laughs> Yes, I'm going a little crazy. <laughs> um, of course, I want to invite our son. I hope Mia's had her baby by now. Uh, Peyton, uh, you know what? There's one person missing on this list that I want to invite, so I will be right back. Okay, I figured it out. It took a few tricks, but that's okay. There's a certain someone I wanted to make sure that got invited to the party, and the reason why is, oh... I'm looking for Nora, and I'm like, oh, she's not here. So I hope Mia's had her baby, so it's not kind of like, oh my gosh, now she's gone into labor type of thing. Um, uh, we don't need any of the other stuff. It's just family coming here. We want to have it at the house. So the reason why I was like, oh, we're missing someone on this list is because where did he go? He better not be on my freaking computer. I, You know what? We're going to go ahead, and we're going to lock this door. Lock this door for... Everybody because I hate it when guests come over and they go straight to the computer. I'm like you're here for something else You see this strange man in our house this guy right here. I had to uh, Kind of finagle to get him here first, but he is Peyton's boyfriend check this out. Uh, I had to go over to their house to make sure that we knew him So that's why it's like oh, oh Corey aged up. He is now an adult. He aged up out of town at work but look at this, Ronan just became the boyfriend of Peyton. I think Peyton may have found like true love with this guy. He's super sweet whenever they're near each other. They always like flirt and hold hands. They're really, ooh, Mia's, well, she's always angry, but she's not pregnant anymore. So that means she had her baby. Yay, congratulations, Mia. So let's go ahead and, hi, Ronan. <laughs> He's like, hello. We're going to go ahead and place everyone in a group because it's just easier to control everyone that way. I love uh, form a group. Let's just do that. Form a group with everybody here. And then have everybody, can we go here? Why isn't it doing it? Sorry, little boy. We don't want to talk to you just for like a second so I can make everybody go here together. I love his little handsome outfit that he wears for parties. That is so cute. It is so cute. Okay, this is Mia's daughter. Obviously not the one that she just had, the child that she just had. Yay, Peyton's here. That's the one I wanted to see. Oh, Peyton, you are so... Look! She's like, hi, you got here before I did. I love how she absolutely adores this guy. He's telling, is that a, does that mean he's telling a dirty joke? Let's go ahead and thank everyone for coming. Mia, are you feeling a little bit better? I know you tend to be angry whenever she comes over. Whenever she has to leave the house, she just gets so freaking angry. So let's go ahead and say hi to Ronan. No! There's nothing you can do upstairs. You can go to the bathroom. Everybody is taking the French toast out of the fridge that I made a few days ago. Oh, man, there's stuff on the ground. Okay, that's not going to go in there, is it? Nope. 
Um, <laughs> well, everybody seems to be having a nice time. So let's go ahead and call everyone. Look at She's like, this guy seems really sweet for you. And I really like, look at him. He's in the background. They can't stand being too far apart. It's really cute. So let's go ahead and no, blow out the candles. No. Oh, the candles are gone. Can we Egypt Sim? Oh, we can't eat up the baby. That would have been too perfect. How about we remove the candles? Let's do that. Call everyone to the cake. How's the baby doing? Looks like he's doing okay in there. Uh, before the episode started, I had her change his diaper and attempt to breastfeed him, but he was a little angry. He's like, leave me alone. So that's why their relationship bar has gone down a little bit. Pen, come over here. Remove the candles because we can't have a birthday party for the baby. Which is really a bummer. I wish we could do that. Let's go ahead and boop, 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 call to meal. Everybody come to the cake. So my birthday was uh, a few days ago in real life. And I got a strawberry cake. And it looks just like the cake in the real game. So that was really cool. It was really good too. Um, let's go ahead and age him up. I mean, why not? I want to see what he looks like. More choices. More choices. More choices. <laughs> Age up! Yay! If you can stop eating the cake, you're really not that hungry. And if you could, yay, yay, come over here. This is it! He's a yay! Jack Wells is becoming a child today. <gasps> He's blonde! Oh, I freaking love it! So this little guy is going to be a rambunctious scamp. I wish there was like a gamer option because this one's really gonna like video games. How about we will geek video games? Yay! Yep, you're gonna be a video game guy. I love that this little guy looks like Cory and this little guy looks like Pen. What an adorable set of little boys we have. Pen, put, come over here and hug your baby, share a secret. They seem to be getting along okay right now. He's like, hey, you want to take a picture? Yay! He's like, I wanted to do this forever, but I've been in that freaking crib and I couldn't do anything. Ooh, she's tense. Oh, do you see that? She's lovelorn. It's like Penn is realizing that Corey is absolutely not here, not going to show up. The party is going to be over here pretty soon. Oh, she's like, hey, little man. Let's go ahead, brighten his day. How about we give him a heartfelt compliment? I think you're freaking awesome, little man. And let's ask about his day. And let's come over here and have a conversation with our other little boy. We're going to tell him a really cool story. And then we're going to share a secret. Is it letting me do all this? I don't know. It's all oh, we can cuddle him. All these options are popping up. Cool. Okay, stop talking to him. Because we need to tell Blake a little something. Penn figured that Corey was most likely not going to be returning in, uh, returning home in time for Jack's birthday. So she has something special planned for little Blake. Is she going to come over and tell him? I think she is. Oh, I'm so excited. Hi, little man. Uh, let's. She's telling him right now. Oh, slow down, Penn. I want to tell everybody else what's happening. Let's go ahead and... Um, let's see. Express love. I love these options that we have between kids. Joke about bananas. Kiss his cheek. Oh, tell an engaging story. Let's just fill it up. Okay, so basically, Penn kind of knew Corey wasn't going to come back by the tone in his voice in the last phone call she got from him. So she's like, Blake, my sweet, I have a really cool surprise for you. So she goes on to tell him that he's going to a summer camp here in Windenburg called the Animal Hat Summer Camp. And it's not just any kind of summer camp. This one is a magical place, and it's pretty darn amazing. There's cupcakes and games and a place to swim, a library, which I know he will be super excited for, an incredible tree house. And he's like the one, like the one you and Abby or Aunt Abby played in when you guys were kids. And she's like, yep, it's kind of similar to that. So Blake is really excited. He can hardly wait. He's never been to camp before, but he's been swimming before and he freaking loved it. 
He's like, this is gonna be so awesome. When do I leave? She's like, you leave tomorrow morning. He's like, really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm so excited for him. Hey, I heard you became friends, friends with Corey. Oh, <laughs> well, look at this awkward text message. Eva is sitting right here and she says, I heard you became friends with your husband. He's pretty cool. Well, yeah, we kind of do know him. <laughs> Help Blake with homework. Okay, cool. So I am really excited that little Blake is going to be going to summer camp. So in the next episode or the next few episodes, you guys won't see him here. But don't worry. He's going to be having the best time. So she really wanted to make sure she spoiled little Blake. And this will give her time to know Jack a little bit more. Where are you going? We're trying to talk to you. Where are you, Pen? Oh, she's stuck in here. Okay. She's talking to an angry Mia. <laughs> so um, I am really excited about Animal Hat Summer Camp. It has already started, so I will put a link in the description bar down below so you can go see what this camp is all about. Look at this good little boy. Jack, you're absolutely amazing. He hops out of the crib and immediately he starts doing chores. I think he wants to be the favorite child. Oh no, uh, replace. I think he wants to be the favored child. I don't know. And Blake is over here. He's like, tell me more about this camp. I'm so freaking excited. Uh, let's brighten his day. Tell him a funny story. She's like, I am really happy that you learned how to swim in Mia's pool because you're going to have the best time. You're going to be meeting all sorts of other kids and you get to write letters home. I am so excited that he's going to camp. Can you tell? Can you tell? <laughs> and this will give us more time with little Jack and kind of uh, uh, just kind of, are you guys going to kiss? Oh, I thought they were, I should really get going now. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming, everyone. I appreciate that everyone is was here for uh, little Jack's birthday. Oh, he's so cute. He's so, he looks so much like his dad. It's incredible. But we really, I don't know why, but for some reason, whenever I hop back into the game, these go unframed. Do you guys have that in your game where your pictures that you have in your game go unframed all of a sudden? So if I'm reframing these, that means these are, yep. Oh, that is so frustrating. I wish there was a way we could take a family photo. I'll have to look into that. But I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you like this Let's Play, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. Don't forget to leave your comments and suggestions and any questions you guys have down below. And like I said earlier, don't worry in the next episode that you don't see little Blake here. He is going to go to summer camp. But this does mean really bad news for Penelope and Corey. Corey didn't come home. He kind of showed it to Penelope and his family that work is more important. So this means that Penelope and Corey will be getting a divorce. So before Blake heads off to camp, she is going to have a little sit down family meeting slash talk with the boys to let them know what's going on. Blake is really furious with his dad that he wouldn't even bother to have a phone call or, you know, even show up. So Blake is a little mad, but he's holding it together for his brother. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!